Hey guys, I'm coming to you again from my car. Um, I just dropped my son off at school and um, I'm on my way back home to get my breakfast and get myself ready for work. Um, I didn't pack my lunch or snacks or anything uh, because last night when I got home, I was just so tired. So I just was like, you know what, I'll do it after I drop my shit off. So I made his lunch. Um, his breakfast, um, and Shannon made the steak last night, so we didn't eat it, so that was just easy to, for me to pack up for him for lunch, and I'm gonna pack some for myself. Um, he also made mashed potatoes, but I'm on the keto diet, I can't have mashed potatoes, so I sent the mashed potatoes with Christian and Shannon for their lunch. And for myself, I am going to, when I get home, make some spinach, some cream spinach with heavy whipping cream and cheese and spinach. Um, so yeah, I wanted to come on here um, simply to tell you a funny story from yesterday. I don't know how funny it is going to be to y'all, but to me, it was hilarious. So, as I told you guys, I make bulletproof coffee in the morning um so the bully bulletproof coffee is basically coffee um that you you can have instant coffee store uh, bought coffee home brew coffee however you you know get your coffee with um some added fats basically so you can have coconut oil you can have um almond oil you can have butter can have um, any, I mean basically all the fatty oils that you can have on the keto diet the butters you can have on the keto diet you put them into the co coffee co um, coconut oil you put them into the coffee um, some people do a scoop of protein powder um, to get some of that protein in but it's basically so that you can start your day off with caffeine and fats um, because being as though you have to have 70 to 75 percent of your food intake has to be fat it's much easier to get all those fats in in the morning through you know MCT oil coconut oil and butter thrown right into your coffee so that's basically what the bulletproof coffee is so I haven't I didn't do it for quite a few days and so yesterday um, was the first day that I had made it after a couple days and let me tell you number one I made it at about 10 in the morning um, and so I had that and then I was full up until about six o'clock 6 p.m. I was full up until about 6 p.m. I wasn't hungry I was trying to like force myself to eat something but it was just like I wasn't hungry um so but the issue I did have was that I had to use the bathroom like non-stop like so part of my job is picking up my clients um, from school so at three o'clock no at two o'clock I took my mom to pick up her car and I had to go to the bathroom so bad I rushed to her house I went to the bathroom okay um I'm not talking about number two I'm talking about number one I had to go to the bathroom number one drinking coffee made me have to pee a lot um so at two o'clock I went to the bathroom at her house so then I dropped into her car it was about 2 30 I had to go again um, and then by the time I got to my first client at three o'clock, I had to go again. So I picked her up from school and I'm like, you know, I don't really want to go into the school, um, because, you know, all the kids are coming out. It's a whole hassle. I don't want to go to school. So then I got to my next client and I picked her up from school and then I really, really had to go. So I had to like rush to their house before um before therapy and before anything else that i was trying to do 
I had to go and like rush to their house so that I could use the bathroom. So that's one thing about Bulletproof Coffee, like you will pee. I, like I don't know if my coffee drinkers, they find themselves going to the bathroom more um, in general, but like with the Bulletproof Coffee, with the amount of water, the salsa water, the flavored water, um, the lemon water and all the other things that I'm drinking, I constantly have to pee. Um, I so much so that I even had to like check with my doctor. Like, do I have a UTI or like something's going on? He's like, no, your body is flushing itself with all that water and things that you're drinking. So it's good, don't worry. Like I was really concerned because ever since I've been on the keto diet, drinking the Bulletproof coffee, drinking more water, drinking the salsa water, drinking the um, flavored water, drinking, um, you know, just constantly drinking, which I never did before, now all of a sudden I gotta use the bathroom. So, that's one thing that you will see, that you will notice that as long as your, um, as long as your water intake is up, you're gonna feel like, you know, you just gotta constantly go to the bathroom. So, schedule, um, times in the day to drink water, as well as schedule times in the day to go to the bathroom. Make sure that, like, you try to go before you get on a roll and do a 45 minute drive um, and then your next bathroom won't be for another hour and a half. So like make sure that you try to get to where you gotta go, do what you gotta do, drink your water and constantly um, flush your system and things like that. So yeah, that was my funny story for the day because like I almost didn't make it. After having both of my clients with me in the car, like I almost didn't make it to the bathroom. That it would have been tragic. It would have been tragic. Um, so, just know if you're going to think about doing a keto diet, that going to the bathroom is going to be one of those things that you, you know, you start to, that will increase. Um, now, as far as, I guess, um, as far as the other end, <laughs> as far as the other end, I don't poop as much um like i said to you in another video my doctor basically told me that because of the food that i'm eating my body is basically um using the nutrition nutrition from all the food and so there's not much to come out um so the one wrong thing that i did i'm gonna tell you this is that i thought that there was something wrong with my digestive system so i picked up like um the Benefiber, I don't know if you guys have heard of that. I picked up some Benefiber, that, something that you add to like your water, like a scoop of it to your water, and it will add fiber. So I picked up that, and um, that was like three weeks in though. So three weeks in, I was like, let me pick up some Benefiber. I'm not going to the bathroom. I wasn't feeling constipated, like my stomach wasn't hurting or anything like that. It was like, it was just weird to me that like, you didn't poop in three weeks like that it was strange to me so before contacting a doctor i decided to go and get some benefit y'all let me tell y'all let me tell y'all how constipated i was i was so this is disgusting listen off the record i was so constipated like my stomach was hurting i'm sorry my stomach was hurting like so much so that I had that was when I called the doctor. I was like, Doc, uh, um, my stomach hurt. I took some Benefiber, and he's like, Why would you do that? Why would you why Why would you do that? <laughs> That's all he could say. Like, why would you do that? He's like, Okay, so was your stomach hurting before the Benefiber? And I'm like, No. He's I was like, I just did. I just hadn't pooped. And he's like, so what? He's like, your body is using all the nutrients. If your body is using all the nutrients, there's nothing for your body to get rid of. There's nothing for your body to get rid of. So what is it that you were trying to poop out? And I was like, well, I thought, you know, I thought that I was supposed to poop every day, two, three times a day. He's like, yeah, if you're eating trash, if you're eating things that need to come out, then your body, then you're poop. And I'm like, mind blowing. I never even thought of that. Like, I never thought, 
you know, I thought that that's how you lose weight. I thought that if you eat and you poop and you keep pooping, the more you poop, the more you lose. Like, you know, I was, nope, I was wrong. So, that's the opposite end with the keto diet. You will pee more, but you will poop less. Um, so, you need to, um, you know, be prepared for that and don't do what I did. Do not think that because you're not pooping, you have an issue and go and get you some bender fiber and then now you constipated and your stomach's hurting so bad that you got to go to the doctor. Um, so yeah, that's my story for y'all. Um, it's a little bit gross on the other end, but you know, hopefully it will help someone, um, through their diet to, you know, make sure that they're taking care of their body inside and outside and, you know, stay blessed, stay subscribed and stay focused y'all. Thank you.